Mark chapter eight. Jesus feeds the four thousand. During those days, another large crowd gathered. They had nothing to eat, so Jesus called for his disciples to come to him. He said, "I feel deep concern for these people. They have already been with me three days. They don't have anything to eat. If I send them away hungry, they will become too weak on their way home." Some of them have come from far away. His disciples answered him, "There is nothing here," they said. "Where can anyone get enough bread to feed them?" "How many loaves do you have?" Jesus asked. "Seven," they replied. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. He took the seven loaves and gave thanks to God. Then he broke them and gave them to his disciples. They passed the pieces of bread around to the people. The disciples also had a few small fish. Jesus gave thanks for them too. He told the disciples to pass them around. The people ate and were satisfied. After that, the disciples picked up seven baskets of leftover pieces. About four thousand people were there. After Jesus sent them away. He got into a boat with his disciples. He went to the area of Dalmanutha. The Pharisees came and began to ask Jesus questions. They wanted to test him, so they asked him for a sign from heaven. He sighed deeply. He said, "Why do you people ask for a sign? What I'm about to tell you is true. No sign will be given to you." Then he left them. He got back into the boat and crossed to the other side of the lake, the east of the Pharisees and Herod. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread; they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Be careful, Jesus warned them. Watch out for the east of the Pharisees, and watch out for the east of Herod. They talked about this with each other. They said, "He must be saying this because we don't have any bread." Jesus knew what they were saying, so he asked them, "Why are you talking about having no bread? Why can't you see or understand? Are you stubborn? Do you have eyes and still don't see? Do you have ears and still don't hear? And don't you remember? Earlier, I broke five loaves for the five thousand. How many baskets of pieces did you pick up? Twelve, they replied." Later, I broke seven loaves for the four thousand. How many baskets of pieces did you pick up? Seven, they answered. He said to them, "Can't you understand yet?" Jesus heals a blind man at Bethsaida. Jesus and his disciples came to Bethsaida. Some people brought a blind man to him. They begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand. Then he led him outside the village. He spit on the man's eyes and placed his hands on him. "Do you see anything?" Jesus asked. The man looked up. He said, "I see people. They look like trees walking around." Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened so that he could see again. He saw everything clearly. Jesus sent him home. He told him, "Don't even go into the village." Peter says that Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus and his disciples went on to the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked them, "Who do people say I am?" They replied, "Some say John the Baptist; others say Elijah; still others say one of the prophets." But what about you? He asked. Who do you say I am? Peter answered, "You are the Messiah." Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. Jesus tells about his coming death. Jesus then began to teach his disciples. He taught them that the Son of Man must suffer many things. He taught them that the elders would not accept him. The chief priests and the teachers of the law would not accept him either. 
he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke clearly about this. Peter took Jesus to one side and began to scold him. Jesus turned and looked at his disciples. He scolded Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You're not thinking about the things God cares about. Instead, you're thinking only about the things humans care about. You must pick up your cross. Jesus called a crowd to him along with his disciples. He said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must say no to themselves. They must pick up their cross and follow me. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the good news will save it. What good is it if someone gains the whole world but loses their soul? Or what can anyone trade for their soul? Suppose anyone is ashamed of me and my words among these adulterous and sinful people. Then the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels.